They really said you can shove your coronation up your ass. It doesn't get more disrespectful than that. Actually, I'm sure it does, which we're about to see in this freaking video. Oh my God. Hello, my favorite people. Thank you for being on the channel. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for being here. <sighs> Today, we're doing another football chance video, but specifically the top 10 most disrespectful football chants. Now we've done a couple of these football chant videos and just like wild moments in football. And I, just the fact that football is such a huge phenomenon in other parts of the world, as you guys know, I am an American, so it's not, like football to us is more the NFL or NBA. But y'all love football so much that you are willing to disrespect someone's mother for it. Anyways, let's just get into these chants. Subscribe if you're new here. Let me know what other content you guys want me to do on this channel. Comment it down below. And make sure you like the video so I know you want me to do more football chants and football content on the channel. Help your girl get to 10k over on Instagram as well. And check out the Patreon for all the videos and the explicit chants that I can't put on YouTube because obvious reasons. That's all going on Patreon, which is linked down below and in the description. But enough jibber jabber. Let's get into these chants. I'm low key scared if you couldn't tell. Like I'm actually kind of scared for what they're about to say. And how does everyone always know all the lyrics to the chants? Is there like a PDF file? Oh God. Top 10 most disrespectful football chants. Here we go. Here we go. Retro pixels. That's a cool name. All right, buddy, get to the video. Okay, number 10. I the lyrics. First of all, so many people. It looks like a Taylor Swift concert. Park, park, wherever you may be. You eat dog. Oh! Wait, are they going against the Chinese and they're talking about eating? You eat dogs in your home country. It could be worse. You could be Scouse. I love the Scouse accent. Eating rats in your council house. They called you all dirty. They said you're impoverished. She said, they said you're the bottom of the barrel for human beings. But why'd you have to throw the scouse into it? What's wrong? <laughs> How do they all know the song, the chant? The rhyme, the rhyme. Oh, that's so rude. And it, we did a video before, and let me know if y'all want me to do it again, where we check out specific like um, British and Irish accents and just different, the fact that there's so many different accents in the region of the UK is wild to me. And Scouse was one that we like really harped on because some people loved it, some people hated it. But I guess a majority of people hate it. Like they, they're so disrespectful. Number nine, number nine. Jesus Christ. Adultery? Wanker? Is that John Terry? No, this guy's deranged. He said, wanker, wanker, you're scum. He hates this guy. And why'd y'all have to bring the wife into it? Let her be an adulteress by herself. Wanker, you're scum! I know you are, you're scum! <laughs> I can't even focus. How do you do a penalty kick with that in your head? I can't even focus. Number eight. I am Johnson, pedophile, he plays in plates on children. <laughs> Adam freaking Johnson, go to jail. But y'all too for making this chant. The f and this at like you know the rhythm they just changed the lyrics to it and made it about being a p that's that's insane <laughs> that's wild
we went from like saying oh you can't make a goal like i thought the disrespect was going to be against the players like and how sucky they were and like i don't know just their skill set this sh it's getting real oh my god not a repeat Slow it down, a reverb. Oh my god. That's wild. I that one's that one's a bit much, I have to say. But is it true? Is he really? Or is this just a football chant and they're taking the piss? I hope they're just taking the piss, because Adam Johnson, sir, I shouldn't even call you sir if you really are a P. Go to hell. Oh, God. Another adultery! No, y'all are hurting people's lives! I feel sick. <laughs> this is deranged. This is unhinged. Was there like a scandal where it comes out the wife was cheating on him or something and now y'all turned it into a football chant? The baby's not yours. The baby's not yours. Oh, Steven Gerrard. The baby's not yours. The dis freaking respect. The disrespect. Y'all are bringing people's personal lives into the. It's football! Why not just say your uniform's ugly or some shit like that? You have to. S your wife cheated on you, she got pregnant, and the baby's not yours. And then to add a tune to it. That's like salt in the wound. I really used to think of like the Europeans as these m the most classy and elegant people in the world. But yeah, nip that, sh that thought in the bud. <laughs> so bad for them and then everyone laughs i hope the players can just take it on the chin and like move on from it god number six it's giving alabama da -da -da -da. your sister is okay yeah the da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. your sister is your mother your father is your what you all f1 another the kitty family damn it really is Sweet Home Alabama. How do they know? How do y'all know everyone's business? I mean, sorry to pause again, but sometimes you can tell. Like, have y'all seen that Sweet Underbelly video where it's the Appalachian Mountain family and they're all inbred? You can tell sometimes. So maybe it's the same with the kitty people. But good on him, because usually aren't they, when there's inbreeding, like the people are degenerate and not as developed, like mentally, physically, like they're sometimes deformed. So if homie really is an inbred, but still made it to whatever football league this is, that is commendable. Good job to um, Sir Kitty. Oh, slow it down. Brother, brother. I love the accent. such an intimate field, they definitely hear the chant. Disrespect. 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 Five. Five, five, five. They're just getting more They better not be disrespecting Liverpool. Please. I just saw, when Liverpool playing in a game last week, I saw, I think his name is Harry Kane or something like that. I love that man. Best leader ever. In your liver- Oh! They call Liverpool slums. You look in the dustbin for something to eat. Classist ass chant. You find a dead rat and you think it's a trend. <laughs> What the fuck? What? In your Liverpool slums. 
They can't help it if they're poor. Yo, they, why do y'all gotta remind them? Is Liverpool even poor? They're about to host Eurovision. They can't be poor. Or I don't know when this video is coming out if they've already hosted Eurovision. Liverpool, the disrespect. If they can pay these football players their salary, then they can't be a poor city, right? Oh God, let's just hear the chant. This one's so rude. They're all drunk. Oh God, it keeps going. I thought it was just gonna be a repeat. They have a second freaking verse. And the fact that everyone knows the lyrics again, while being drunk, they still know the lyrics. Ah. In your Liverpool slums, your mom's on the game and your dad's in the nick. I, I guess that's English slang. I don't know that with that. My mind can't compute. You can't get a job cause you're too freaking thick. They said you're dumb in your Liverpool slums. Why is your mom on the game and your dad's in the nick? What does that even mean? Dang. They said you're poor. That's sad. Number four. Jesus. I did buy you. Oh, that's a Adebayor. That name, first of all, sounds like African, so I take it personal. He said they said his dad washes elephants, so he's like a low class citizen, or like um, I don't know, whatever the the worker class is, whatever. And his mom's a yeah, <laughs> a bit much. My God, let me know if you want a part two though.